super hot, super hot, super hot. Line Miami is a game of two halves that for some reason can make a whole. It's a contradictory game. This is a game about contradiction to me, because on the one hand, Hotline Miami is a very fast-paced, kill-everyone-or-you're-dead type of game. It's reactionary, it's one hit, one kill, it's over in a second. Super Hot, while it does keep that one hit, one kill mentality, is a much more slower-paced game where you uh, time only moves when you move. In Hotline Miami, you're moving constantly. In Super Hot, you're very, very careful on how you're moving. You can see the contradiction here that I have to deal with. And yet, somehow, it does work, but it also kind of doesn't work. I'll explain, uh, I'll explain in a little bit, but first, let's get started and show you how this game actually plays. So, how do we play this game? Well, think Hotline Miami. It's a top-down, uh, technically twin-stick shooter, I would say, uh, with Wasad being movement and mouse is aim, left-click is fire, and right-click is both pick-up and throw weapons. Uh, that can be a little confusing at times when you're trying to pick stuff up because the gun has a little white outline and then has a red outline. You're not sure where the... That's me and the hotline stuff. Don't worry about it. The other portion, as you can see right there with the shotgun bullets coming right at me, is the super hot part where time moves much faster when you move. Time is still moving. I'm not sure if that's actually a super hot thing or not. Um, but either way, they both work independently actually quite well. The little blue outline on, oop, on the uh, screen is the gun reloading. No ammo counter, but that's more of a hotline thing where you don't actually know when you're going to run out of ammo. Um, both of these gameplay mechanics play well. That is not for discussion. The game plays very well. It is a very good uh, hotline clone and a very good super hot clone. Very good. Well put together. The problem that I am coming across and this might just be me, is these should not mix. Because if we play this like Hotline, I should not stop moving. And yet, And yet, when I do stop moving, everything slows down and it gives me time to breathe. Which again contradicts the Hotline thing, whereas Hotline is a reactionary game. It doesn't give you a chance to breathe. That also being said, Super Hot doesn't give you a chance to breathe either because you're looking all over the place and time is moving at a unnatural pace. So this game just feels so contradictory and weird to play, and yet, it's really fun to play! Let me demonstrate something very interesting that this game can do. We will play it in two halves, the two halves that there are descriptions of, both the Super Hot and the Hotline. First, the Hotline. We are not going to stop moving. So, we go through, pick up the gun, bang, dead, bang both dead. Okay, now, I'm not good at Hotline Miami, but you can see what I was trying to do there. I was trying to show you that you can play this like Hotline Miami. Artery start. Now, let's play this like Super Hot. Go like here, left click, punches the dude, right click, picks up the gun, left click, fires the gun, 
We have bullets coming in through that direction. I'm waiting for the blue little flash on the corner. I missed. Blue flash, check. Oh dear. Okay, wait for it. Down. Oh, fuck. Dead. Okay. That part of this game works well, too. So you can play this either as a Hotline Miami game or a Super Hot game. The Super Hot game is a little weird, though, because it is top down, but I think that's just gameplay mechanics y stuff that may or may not translate well through first and top in second person. Is top down second person or third person? Or is it fourth person? No, it's not fourth person. Fourth person is something completely jarring and uh, very interesting, but very jarring. Um, so yeah, in a game that this cannot work and should not work, this works. And it's very impressive. So, let's play this double style then. Gain, uh, gain, gunshot there. Gunshot there. Nope, missed that. There. Gun, double. Ooh, tried with the double. Uh. Whoop. Bit down a little bit. Can't fire yet. It's good for the dodging. Oh no, I'm out. That's why I can't fire. Ooh, did that actually. Ooh. I actually stunned a guy by throwing a gun at him. I've never done that. Moving on. Uh, gun fire about here. So I can clip both of them. Yeah. Gun reloaded. Gun like that. Okay. That went well. That went very well. And it's very surprising that that went very well. I enjoy this game even though I find it so strange. And if you are interested in, the, in this and want to experience it, I will link it in the description below. This is a very interesting game, and I'm very... In I keep saying interesting because it is interesting. This shouldn't work to me, and yet it does. Again, my name's been Dark Arts. The link is in the description below. And... I'm very curious to see what other game combinations that should not work, work well together. Now I'm very curious about that. Hmm. I'll have to have a think.